Today we're going to talk about going on a road trip in Florida. Is it safe? Should you do it? Where should you go? Are people wearing masks? Are people actually obeying the rules? Are people keeping their distance? Is it an okay time to do a road trip? <laughs> So let me start off with, I have a cousin who lives in Inverness, Florida. Her husband, I call him Uncle Wes. The first place we went to was King Landing, Florida, also known as Emeralds Park. I suggest if you're gonna go there, arrive when the doors open. Because we were one of the first ones, the water was crystal clear. Like you can see all the way to the bottom, you can see little fish. It was like a beautiful ride going up the stream against the current. You're also more than welcome to get out of your kayak. There's some parks that you're not allowed to get out of your kayak. You can get out of your kayak and swim around. It's gorgeous waters. You can jump from trees. You can just, you know, it's like all like up to you. There's no one there really as a security guard telling you what to do and what not to do. That was overall really nice, but on our way back, there were more people. At this point now, the water is not as clear. You know, like the mud has moved around, people walking and stuff like that. My tip is once it gets to that point, like kind of in the afternoon, just go, but overall, really cool spot. All right, on the second day, we went to Ginny Springs, and this day, we kind of slept in a little bit longer. Um, we did forget it was Father's Day, so things were a little bit more hectic than usual because we thought, you know, it's Sunday, you know, people have to work the next day or people have to, are usually heading back on Sunday from their trips, but it was Father's Day, so it was a little bit hectic, more, than, more hectic than usual. I do want to say that from the three places we went, this was probably the busiest place. Uh, again, no enforcement in wearing a mask or anything of that sort. No enforcement or security around saying you have to keep your social distance when you're waiting in line. It's kind of all up to you and what you decide to do with it. I will say, although that was the place that was packed the most, it was the biggest park, you can keep your distance because it's so big. There is a campsite. I have never stayed in the campsite, but I know a ton of my friends who have, and a lot of people have, taught, have said great things about it, and a lot of people have stayed at that campsite, but it is the busiest one from the three spots I went to. On the third day, we went to Wikiwashi. Now, Wikiwashi was my favorite place. Uh, it was a Monday. It was the least busiest from all of them. I know Alex, for instance, she mentioned that it wasn't her favorite just because there was like houses around and it doesn't give you that like all nature surrounding, but it's not the whole time houses around. So the water is crystal clear. I know I just mentioned that it was a Monday, so there weren't that many people, but that to me was my favorite thing. Because obviously I don't, not only for safety, but it's just, I don't enjoy when things are crowded. It is not my thing or too loud. It's not relaxing for me. There, you can swim there. You can get out of your kayak. You can jump from trees, all up to you. We took the, uh, my cousin took her dogs. You're more than welcome to take your dogs there, I guess. And then just enjoy the nice, like beautiful water. The water stayed clear the whole time we were there. Um, it is also a very manatee known area. You will most likely see manatees from what I heard from other people that were there. They see a lot of manatees. This time around, we weren't seeing any, any until we were heading back to the car and we were in our kayaks and when Uncle West spotted a manatee, called us in and we saw a manatee with its baby actually. So we saw two. Okay, so that's those are the three parks we went to. Overall, it was a great trip. But do know that up north in Florida, there are signs suggesting you should wear a mask, maybe, but no one is enforcing it. Restaurants as well, no one is enforcing it. And that's really it. I wanted to thank Hema and Uncle Wes if they're watching this video for a great trip, for a great experience. It's always a great time. If you need more tips or anything like that, leave me a comment below. I will add the links to the three parks I went to so you can check them out yourself. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you just, you know, learned something if or if you're thinking of considering traveling somewhere then maybe hopefully I answered some of your questions. And like always, stay wild, stay wanderlust, and stay weird. And I will catch you in my next video. Ciao, good talk, bye. Okay, all right. This always gets awkward when we have to say goodbye. That was a lot of talking.